Well, welcome back. The Winter Olympics and Black History Month are here, and there's a unique cross-cultural event featuring Korean Americans and African Americans this Sunday right here in D.C. It's a musical extravaganza, yes. as we like to say, <laughs> produced by Terry Allen of the Coalition for African Americans in the Performing Arts and Tammy Pantages with the Korean American Cultural Arts Foundation. Ladies, welcome. Welcome. Thank I love you. this. You're bringing together African American cultures, Korean cultures. So how did this collaboration come about? Well, we met about three years ago or so, and Tammy and I uh, did a program at the Listen Auditorium, and then we began talking. Mm -hmm. And through that conversation, we decided to do a more, uh, more elaborate production. And what was born was Soul to Soul, musical extravaganza. Extravaganza, yes, I love that. Yes. I like that. <laughs> now, Seoul is the capital of Korea. Of Korea, and in honor of the Korean, the Olympics, the Winter mm -hmm. Olympics yep. in Korea, and coincidentally, Black History Month, it was a perfect marriage. Oh, I love it. Soul is what comes from the heart. Yes. What can we expect to see, Tammy, at the event this Sunday? Well, we speak of music and dance. Uh, I guess the two things, right? And uh, so we try to invite for some uh, Korean uh, musicians to come from the Japan and Korea, mm -hmm. okay. and also local people. Korean mm -hmm. magicians. Yeah. Oh, so there's going to be magic musicians. Too. Musicians. Oh, musicians. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, there we you like go. to highlight <laughs> classical music. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So in the process of highlighting classical music, we have Korean American classical musicians as well as African American classical musicians mm -hmm. to bring color to the classics. So when you look at these two cultures, Terry, what is something that maybe our viewers would be surprised to know that there's a commonality between? Well, you know, there's a universal language in music. Mm -hmm. And when our artistic director, Dr. Lester Green, sat down with the Korean baritone, who's a classical musician, there was one language in the sheet of music. And he was able to play, and he was able to sing, and we can all understand that emotion mm -hmm. that he emits through the music. But also, in addition to that, there's Korean drummers and dancers, African-American drummers and dancers, and that too becomes a universal language. I love this connection because you don't see it too often, but we're gonna see some on television, but live and in person at your event this yes. Sunday. Now, can you talk about how the feeling in the room when audiences come and they hear your performers that you've partnered with? Because Classical music is a very exclusive thing. It's hard to break into, not just for African Americans, but for people of Asian descent and Hispanic descent. That's true, that's very true. There is a somewhat of a barrier, but our organization, the Coalition for African Americans in the Performing Arts, produces events such as this so that it introduces audiences to the classical music genre, but in a unique and a different way. And uh, what Tammy is doing and what I'm doing, we're, we're both bringing like say for instance the national anthem for the the black national mm -hmm. anthem as Thank well you. as another folk a korean song Arida. yeah mm -hmm. Arian, and that mm -hmm. will be the finale uh, oh. song oh. at the production yes what a unique collaboration i, know, I just i'm fascinated that. to see the 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 music come together and the performers come together and just see that cultural joint yes. that's on the stage it's and amazing. in addition mm -hmm. there'll be youth so the youth from both sides of the, mm -hmm. of the aisle and both cultures will be producing. Well, and since you mentioned the Black National Anthem, I say we rejoice and hear some singing. Okay. And you brought okay. a singer who is going to preview some of the performances Sunday. Aliyah Wahid, take it away. <laughs>
chills. Thank you so much for that. I hope you guys felt the power of her voice at home. We'll be right back after this. Thank you. Oh.